Okay, video 54. Um, this little video will quickly demonstrate how you can edit and adjust uh, report table associations that may already have been created, um, uh, uh, maybe created incorrectly the first time round, or it might have been decided subsequently that it needs to be uh, adjusted. Um, and specifically what I want to show you is how you might create a report table initially and bookmark a load of things and then afterwards you've decided that you need to make that list a bit neater um, because of the parent-child relationship between one file object and another. So what I've done um, so far is I've just created a new case, added a standard kind of training image to it that the guys at X-Ways use um, and I've refined the volume snapshot using the kind of standard things, you know, most of those uh, file system search, file header, etc., etc., just to make sure that everything's processed as you would normally expect. Um, so I'm just exploring the um, documents and settings folder of, of Edgar Poe, and I've sorted it all by path, as you can see. Uh, so it's all listed in that order. So let's say as part of your initial review you create a bookmark or a report table association as they're referred to in, uh, in X-Ways. So we right click a, a file, uh, this is the first time we're going to create a, a report table and it comes up as follows. Um, so we click new, call it initial one, whatever you might decide to call it. Defaults with the usual control one keyboard shortcut and it says for selected item and that makes perfect sense because by and large you're only going to want to have the selected item uh, bookmarked to use that common phrase. Um, so let's say now my review has begun and I want to start saving bits and pieces that I find. Uh, so I've decided that I want that one so I'm going to uh, control one for that so that's been bookmarked and I want that, so that's bookmarked because both of these little pictures are of relevance uh, to what I'm doing. Uh, and this PowerPoint presentation, uh, I want that, that's all really interesting. Um, and can I find anything else that might be of interest? Yes, that's PDF, so I'll have that. So I've got these four bookmarked files and that might go on for days, weeks, months, with one person, two people, a hundred people, whatever. Um, at the end of it, you end up with a load of bookmarked stuff. So we can filter by that as usual. Uh, I'm gonna select that one and click activate. And here are my four bookmarked files. Happy days, everyone's happy, or so you'd think. Well, it might be useful, for example, if you look at the path in here, you'll see that 2.jpg is part of the ferrari.pps presentation as is embedded one part of the ferrari.presentation this pdf is an attachment to this particular email here um, and then of course we've got this other powerpoint presentation which is also an attachment to an email so after this initial review for interesting bits and pieces um, it might make more sense to present that information in the context, the fuller context, i.e. Uh, this PowerPoint presentation was attached to the following email um, and these pictures were part of the following uh, PowerPoint presentation which was part of the following email. Um, but you're thinking to yourself, well I've already bookmarked it all now, I can't possibly go and change it all. Well, good news is you can. To simply adjust the existing report table, right click any file and choose report table association and highlight the one you need to change and in this case all we want to do is now change it to parent file um, and you can either leave selected item on or off so now what it is we're now changing its behavior so that whenever this bookmark or report table is initiated it will add the selected file and its parent file now the reason that I don't generally recommend that you put that on from the start is if you're having someone review all this information who might not be of a technically minded inclination, you might find that 
just because they found one email in a 10 gigabyte PST cabinet, with that ticked by default, they will bookmark the entire 10 gig PST cabinet as well as the individual email which they've just highlighted has been relevant. And so then you end up with a massive uh, wave of uh, data in your, in your report table, uh, which when it comes to exporting or reporting on, uh, could present you with a problem. So by doing it this way, i.e. selected item initially, and then afterwards, uh, as part of a refinement process, change the behavior to the, include the parent file, then we can more neatly uh, change things. So now what I'll do is, for all of these files, I'll just select them all in this case because I know that there's got not going to be anything drastic happen um, as a result of it, but you might prefer to do it one at a time. Um, I'm now going to press Control on one again, and uh, seemingly nothing has happened uh, because these were already bookmarked. But if I now simply refresh the list, bearing in mind I'm f I've got the filter on for report tables, if I now refresh that, you'll now notice that the list has pretty much doubled. So we've still got the two individual JPEGs there, but we've now got its parent, which is Ferrari.pps. Uh, this particular PDF should have the email for it, which it has. So there's the email and there's the PDF, uh, not sure how to pronounce that, natchwist.pdf. So there are the two files in isolation now. And then you've got this presentation, which was an attachment to the three wise women email. So now it all kind of marries up. And you might say, well, I want to go a step further. Um, if I can find an example. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Maybe I can't in this particular example. Um, but let's say that as a result of uh, going up one chain, there's then another chain that you want to go to, you would then just individually select the particular item, whatever it may be, uh, you know, you might have, as a result of uh, finding an embedded object in a PDF, you might then find that that PDF is part of a zip cabinet, for example, and the entire zip cabinet now might be needed because you've, you've now gone and found the PDF, but then in addition you want the zip as well, so you would then just click the PDF and do Control one again to then get the zip file and on and on you go until ultimately you get to the top of the tree for any particular chain. Um, anyway, so that's it, as simple as that. You can quite easily change the behavior and, and get it all, uh, end up finding all the files that you want in the same uh, kind of group. Uh, and then afterwards you might want to uh, change the report table behavior. If further reviewing is to take place, you might then just want to do that again so that it goes back to normal and then just close and then from there on in for this particular case that bookmark or report table will behave in the same way. Uh, that is it. <laughs>